Let's talk today about these six deadly traps that keep you reliving the past. In case we haven't met yet, my name is Chris Reese, and I'm really glad to be here with you today. Whether you're struggling with guilt over something that you've done or the hurt that others have caused you, letting go of the past can be so hard to do. Maybe the thought of letting it go feels irresponsible, almost, almost like you're saying that it, whatever happened didn't really matter or that you're letting the other person off the hook. Or perhaps you've tried really, really hard to let go of the guilt, but the thoughts keep coming back. Letting go of the past is crucial to moving forward because when you stop rehashing the past, you break the chains that are holding you back. But there are six common mistakes that we make when trying to let go of the past. And I want to talk to you about those traps today. Avoid these traps and you will be well on your way to more peaceful, fulfilling relationships. Trap number one, you try to forget about it. God gave us the capacity and the command to forgive, but he didn't give us the ability to forget. Now, personally, I believe that it's because we are as dumb as sheep, and if we had the ability to forget, we'd most likely make the same mistake again. So instead, recall the hurt, learn what you need to learn from it, and move forward. You'll more likely be able to move on in freedom from there. Trap number two, you mistake forgiveness for trust. Forgiveness is an act of the will. It's not an emotion. Forgiving someone or yourself doesn't mean that you have to enter back into the relationship with the person who caused you hurt or that you're condoning the bad behavior. But remember, forgiveness is given. Trust needs to be earned. So don't wait until you feel like forgiving. Chapter number three, you keep talking about it. If you want to keep a fire burning, add oxygen. If you want to stop stewing over the past, stop venting. You can't let something go if you keep rehashing it to anyone who's going to listen. Even in my counseling practice, there comes a point when the focus needs to shift to strategies for moving forward. Because at some point, you've got to let that fire die out. Trap number four, you keep it in. Just because you don't talk about it doesn't mean you've actually let it go. If you're the type to throw old issues in someone's face at the first sign of a fight, you haven't let it go. You've just simply kept it in. Trap number five, you don't change the channel. Rehashing the past can be like watching a horror movie, knowing that you're going to have nightmares, but you can't seem to turn it off. Your job is to give up on trying to shut off your mind. Instead, just change the channel. It's not like there's nothing else to watch. Trap number six, you see the small things as the big picture. Is that $100 that some guy owes you from 10 years ago really going to matter? Is it gonna matter in 10 years from now? I sure hope not. If it does, you're missing the big picture of where God is taking you and what he's trying to do in your life. For the amount of time and mental energy that you will likely spend on trying to recoup the money that you could have invested into something else and it would have yielded you a much greater return. If you're struggling with letting go, you likely suffer from negative thinking, but there is good news. You see, I am getting ready to host an epic, highly interactive, intensive workshop to help you overcome toxic thoughts. You can enjoy peace of mind, confidence, and never again be confused. If you've enjoyed my blogs or my videos, you are so going to love this intensive workshop. And I do hope you can make it because this is a perfect opportunity to experience my coaching and training in action and ask me all of your questions. Because during our time together, you are going to learn how to decipher the three types of toxic thoughts. No, they're not all created equal. You will learn the four steps to winning the battle in your mind. This is my secret recipe, and it is so easy that you're going to kick yourself for not doing it sooner. You're going to learn how to slay self-doubt, that self-doubt that is keeping you stuck. You are also going to learn how to get rid of the what-ifs that are going on in your mind and robbing you of peace. Yes, it is possible to live life worry-free. You will also learn how to control your emotions so they don't control you. I will also be pulling back the curtains and sharing how to avoid the pitfalls that trip every Christian up and keep you trapped in fear and self-doubt. 
So we're going to be together live on Saturday, January 20th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. in West Orange, New Jersey. I sure hope that you can make it. Click down below this video for the link to find out more. I can't wait to celebrate your victory with you. But until next time, may you be blessed beyond your wildest imagination.